with sign gig signs and LED digital displays in Marietta, Georgia. If you need to contact us, we're at 404-913-4050. This video here is to get you more familiar with the cloud publishing platform. This is the platform where you can send ads to your sign to play. First thing you want to do is you want to go to us.vnnox.com forward slash platform forward slash pound sign forward slash login. You might want to bookmark this after going to it to make it easier to get to next time. When you're at this page, you want to put in your username and your password. You could click Remember Me so that next time it remembers your credentials. Click the login. You'll notice here you're in the VNOX standard. In this Players tab, where it opens, you'll see your sign, and if it has a green dot next to it, that's a good thing. It means you're online and everything is working. You have some other things on this page where you can rename your LED sign. You can upgrade the firmware for your controller for the hardware that's inside of your sign. It's good to keep it updated. A red dot will appear here if there's an update available. If you don't see a red dot, it's up to date. You can also delete your sign out of this list. I don't recommend doing that. If you delete your sign from your online access, it will require a service call to come back out and reconfigure your sign to connect with the online access. So unless you really know that you want it out of here, don't delete it. Next area I want to address is the contents tab. This is the area where you have placed online your pictures, mp4 files for movies. You know these are the ads or the videos, you know the JPEGs are the videos that you're going to play on your LED screen. You've got to load them into the online library so that they're available to select to play on the sign. The way you do that is you hit Add Media. You click on that over there. It navigates to where you save your files on your computer. So you're looking at what you made here. And you say, oh, I made this one. I want to select it and then hit Open. It will load it into your library here. Now it's available to play on the sign. So all the things that you want to play on your sign, you want to upload to this library. Next area is go to Solutions. This is the ad package that you're going to play on your sign. We're going to hit New. We're going to name it Test. Got the cap locks on. Test. And then we're going to say that the width of this screen is 256 pixels wide. 128 pixels high. Now you want these pixels to be the real pixel size of your LED screen. Please make sure that it's the same as your screen. Once you have this information in here, hit OK. Now this is your ad solution that you're going to create. It opens up with your first page already there. That's this black page. So you can see it a little better, you can enlarge it. All right, so here you go with your first page. Let's say we want to put text on our sign. We can hit this text box here. You can click this control here to make it full width and height of the screen. Double click in the center of this uh, page area. And at this point, you can type in what you want it to say. And you can put thank you. And then hit enter to, to make two lines. Uh, for visiting. Another thing you can do is you can select that text, 
go over here to the right and center it. Another thing you can do is you can increase the text size. Let's try 30 and see what that looks like. That's pretty good. Let's select it again. And uh, let's change the font to Helvetica. Let's make it bold. So there you go. Now you've added text. Now some of the things you want to do here, you have roll, which is like a scroll, and you have a flip action where you can do different uh, effects. But most people use static. That's what I'm going to recommend. And your play duration is 20 seconds. So it's going to come up on your screen, stay there 20 seconds, and then move to the next slide. So let's add another page here. Now we've added another page window. And in this area, we're going to use another feature where you can hit this folder up here, hit or click on, uh, click on that, and that will take you to your list that's in your library of the files that are available. And select that file, hit OK. So now that file was made to fit for this size screen, so it fills the full screen automatically. You click on it, and then you have widget properties is active, or the page properties was the black screen without the item on it. So you have these two choices for page properties or widget properties. Widget property is to control the image that you put on the page. So you can see here it's at the full width and height. And then um, we've got it set on static, so it's going to come up. Uh, entry effect is where it can be random, and it will select these randomly different each time it pulls up a screen or an ad to play on your screen. Or you can also select uh, any one of these to be specific for it to use these. So let's do a fade in we could do. And you know, we just want it to be kind of quick. So let's say 0 0.50, uh, that is a half second because these values are in seconds if you see the S here. And let's say we want it to stay up for 20 seconds and then it will fade in for a half a second. So it'll be a nice soft fade in. And there you go. You, you have this ad that you created with a JPEG image that you made and loaded into the library, now going to play for 20 seconds on your LED screen. Next thing, let's hit another, another page window. Uh, we can do something, uh, let's say we want to do time. Okay, so we have uh, a window here with, it's going to display time. It's going to be a digital clock style. Uh, let's set it to New York for time, Eastern time zone. Language is English. Uh, date format is a four digit year separator. I kind of like the dash better. Uh, the style is day, month, year, uh, day a week, time is 12 hour. Uh, AM, PM, I think we can hide that because it just takes up area. And then um, let's do our minutes. We don't need seconds. Actually, uh, is there a one? Yeah, there we go. And then let's do single line. Let's change the font to Helvetica, bold. All right, so we have, um, oh, let's see here. It's got the day, then month. It, we're used to different than that. We're used to, we're used to month, then day. There we go. So, nope, got that backwards. <laughs> Let me do, try that again. Um, I guess we're going to have the zero in front of there. <clears throat> I was trying to get rid of the, the zero and the six. I was hoping it to say 610. Um, not sure that I'm going to, to be able to accomplish that. Or wait a minute, maybe it's done here. There we go. All right. 
So then uh, we can take this and we can uh, enlarge the text size to try to fill the screen a little wider. Remember, bigger is better for LED screens. Uh, you know, your audience sometimes is away, uh, you know, a distance from your sign. <clears throat> so make it big so they can see it. I'm going to shrink this down. Gonna, uh, let's see here. Let's make this where it says part of the screen. I'm going to slide this down here. Another thing you can do is you can add some weather. Let's go up here and add weather. Let's do advanced weather. When you add advanced weather, it's getting data from the web to know what to play on your sign. So now that we have uh, added advanced weather, we want to choose the style of the layout. I think this style here will work best in this scenario. Right now we're in uh, Woodstock, Georgia, so it's pulling up a Woodstock uh, environment, uh, meaning like temperature and wind and all that for our area. You can see it's just now added it. So let's, it's got some boxes around it. Let's kind of pull it in and then let's push it up to fill the whole screen. Got a little bit of a black line right there in the top. Let me see if I can get rid of that. There we go. All right, so right now by us, it's actually cloudy. Uh, so it's kind of gray. It changes if it was a blue sky day, this would be blue instead of gray. Uh, we don't work on Celsius, so let's change it to Fahrenheit. And the comfort level is usually what most people like to see. Uh, sunrise, sunset, I don't know if you really need it on your sign. I don't know if you really need wind, wind pressure either. Usually I just have the comfort level. People like to see the humidity, you know, the feel like in the UV index. Over here at 78, uh, mostly cloudy, I guess is what this symbol stands for. So let me show you, like if we click here, let's say, let, let's go down to Florida here. We hit OK. Hasn't changed yet, it's working on it, I'm sure. Let's give it a second. Still on Woodstock. There it goes. So you can see at this location it's 93 degrees and it's got blue sky and sunny. So the, it looks different. It's not so gray. Scenario like this, you might also look at changing your font color. Uh, you know, maybe to go with weather, maybe you want green or yellow. Or, or you could try to match that blue. Try to make it all come together. Of course, the blue can change to gray <laughs> on different, um, you know, conditions of weather. So this would be a way for you to show weather on your sign. These are the most common features that customers use. Once you get to this uh, place, you can either save it or you can publish it. Publishing it means you're going to actually send it to your sign, and that this is what is going to play on your sign. So if you want to save it and send it later to the sign, you can do that. Or if you want to go ahead and send it to the sign now, you can just hit publish. So there, we hit publish. Select your sign, hit OK. In this scenario, that's what's now playing on your sign. If, let's say, let's add something here. So let's change it, let's, let's add another picture. We'll add that picture there. So now in this case, let's say we don't want this to play until next week. We can hit save. It didn't send it to the sign, but it's ready to be sent when you're ready. You can hit the back arrow. And then you can later publish the new version by being in the, let's say you log back on and you're in this player window. Go over to solutions. You can select this. And you can hit the little airplane, 
select your sign, and hit OK. So now that new version with that new image we added in there earlier is now out on the sign plane. Another thing, you can edit a list, an add list that you already have in here, and you can hit test, which is what we named it. So it won't necessarily say test on yours, but whatever the name is, you can click it there. And uh, you can go in and say, well, I don't want that picture in there no more. And you can delete it. And then you can publish it. Now it took that picture out and it's not playing on your sign no more. Another thing that you can do is when you create these ads or these slides, we can add another one. Let's add something back in there. Let's add. This is MP4, so this is a video. Let's make it a little bigger so we can see it. So now you have a video here, and um, this video uh, is, for the time duration, is by the video clip. However long you made the video, it will play the full video. Now you can schedule certain days of the week that this video will play. Let's say you want to play Monday through Friday, so then you would unselect the Sunday and Saturday. And then you can choose, like right now it's set to play all day, but you can say, oh, I want it to play between uh, 8 a.m. and let's say mm, noontime. So now between 8 and noon, you'll play this video. On this picture here, maybe you want it to play all day. So you can take off Saturday, Sunday, Monday through Friday, and you can leave it on this to play all day. So you can schedule it whatever you want it to be. Hit save. And the way out of here is up here in the top left where you hit this back arrow to get out of your solution. Now you're back at your solution list. Now you can make as many solutions as you like. You can hit plus and make another one. Right now we just have this one in here and I've showed you how to make it in the beginning. And then I've also showed you how to go back to it and edit the same one. If you want to make one for a holiday, let's say it's Christmas coming up and you want to make a Christmas solution, you can make it and leave it in there and later during Christmas you can publish it. So if you're the type that likes to be prepared and have things made in advance, you can do that. Or if you're the type that likes to work more on the fly, you can have this one in here and edit it as you like, changing what's in this particular solution and then resending it. Well, right now this concludes how to do what we consider the basic operations that most customers use to work with their sign. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Scott at SignGig. Our phone number is 404-913-4050. Have a great day.